this is Jackie from Bronx Bobbles, also known as Titi Gordi. Today's video is very, very special because it's a video that involves my daughter recreating a picture that I took back in 1988 when I was still in college. This video came about because of a vintage belt. And I've expressed in other videos how I consider other accessories to be part of the jewelries, including purses, head, head jewelry, um, footwear, and even belts. The story started when I was rummaging through my collection and I came across this vintage belt that I had. And I said, oh my gosh, I remember getting this belt. I can't believe I still have it. And so I shared it with my daughter and I told her, sweetheart, this belt I wore back in the 80s. And right now my daughter's totally into the 80s look. And so she was intrigued. I remember purchasing this belt on Fordham Road in the Bronx. And I kept it all these years. And why I kept it is beyond me because it doesn't fit me anymore. <laughs> but I digress. Anyway, when my daughter saw this belt, she wanted it. I said, it's absolutely yours. I'd be honored and happy for you to, to wear this belt. And when she put that belt on and she clasped it to the hole that I was able to use when I was her age, it did something to me internally. It just made me melt. I actually started to cry because I'm sharing something with my daughter. Um, I'm so much older. 1988 was about 32 years ago. Yeah, about 32 years ago. And here, 32 years later, my precious daughter is wearing something that belonged to me. And my travels took me all over. And I lived out of suitcases and trunks and boxes throughout most of my youth. And so to carry this belt through move after move after move, and I can't even tell you how many times I moved since then. I don't know why I did it, but I did. And now, 32 years later, to see my daughter recreate this picture. And so when I told her I have a picture with me even wearing that belt, I went through all my photo albums and I found the picture. And she said, Mom, this is a really cool picture. I can actually wear the same outfit that you're wearing today. And I think I look super cool. So we got to this idea that why don't we recreate this picture? And that's exactly what we did. So during that, we ended up bonding. Bonding in a different way. Because through that picture, through that recreation of the picture that was inspired by this vintage belt, I was able to share with her thoughts and ideas that I had when I was pretty much her exact age today. We went to the thrift store and we bought a jacket and I shared with her why I picked out certain fashion trends of the 1980s and which ones appealed to me and which ones didn't. And um, she tried a couple of jackets on. She goes, mom, was it similar to this one? I say, no, that was a little too stiff. Get one that's a little bit softer. And then we went looking for pants. And I said, oh my God, I used to wear that size when I was your age. And the belt just unified me and my daughter. And it gave us a bonding that I don't think could have happened any other way because I was able to use that recreation of the picture which was inspired by the vintage belt as a means to communicate and speak to my daughter about when I was in her age and all the dreams and all the mistakes and all the good things that I did and the confidence that I had at that time. And it just transformed our relationship in a very unique way. And she took the time out to take this picture and I think it came off fabulous. And here's the picture right here in front of you. This is, to me, the highlight of the year. And I don't think I'll ever forget it. And it all became because of this belt, this vintage belt that opened up a dialogue between mother and daughter, between my younger self and her current self. And it allowed me to talk about things that I dreamt about, my aspirations and the pitfalls and the things that I want her to avoid. So 
you too should consider recreating some of your pictures. And here are some other pictures that my daughter ended up recreating from her youth. Isn't this hilarious? I just love this picture. So I started to think about belt as a way to, to accessorize yourself and to inspire. And so here I'm gonna show you a couple of vintage belts that are in my collection. I hope you like this. So here's my mannequin. She's gonna help me out with showing you some of these belts. This is the first time I'm actually standing in my videos. Normally I'm sitting and I'm gonna try different techniques and hopefully we'll see how it turns out. But I don't have a name for her. I think I'm gonna call her Vanessa. So Vanessa is going to help me show you some of the belts in my collection. One of the belts that I have that I just recently got is this amazing beaded belt. It has that Moroccan feel or even Italian because some of these beads have the millefiore and it's so pretty you could probably even wear it as a necklace. So let's see how it looks as a necklace. And I think you could totally get away with wearing it as a necklace. It's got these beautiful glass beads. There's these red beads here. There's a bone um, that's, uh, that's carved. You have these big, big glass drops. And then in between some of these beads are these metal balls. And they're just beautiful. Look at the color of this green. But my favorite part about this belt is these millefiore beads. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is what I look like on. I think this is so beautiful. You could even wear this with a pair of jeans and you have these fringe coming down on it. We say in Spanish, flecos. <laughs> so these are these flecos, these fringe. And I think it's a beautiful belt. Another one of my favorite belts is this. This is very, very reminiscent of the 1970s. See that? This is a Whiting and Davis belt, and I just love it. Again, this belt can be worn, and I have worn it as a necklace. Don't you think that looks gorgeous? Serpents and critters are prevalent in my collection. I just love them to death. Um, and if you get bitten by them, you probably would. <laughs> experience death. Um, but they were very, very popular in the Victorian and it's supposed to, um, that when the head and the tail uh, meet, it's supposed to symbolize everlasting love and everlasting friendship because of the circular nature of serpents. So um, some people don't like them. I just love them. This is what it will look like as a belt. Tell me that's not cool. I can see somebody wearing this in Studio 54. This belt happens to have uh, blue eyes, but I've seen them with crystallized red eyes, all kinds of eyes. Here is its counterpart in black. This one, unfortunately, um, um, I guess it just got squashed and I've been trying to um, replump it. And this is the serpent's head. Again, this is what it would look like as a necklace to wear it. And you could also belt it, and you can see it as a belt. Because it got flattened, it was hard to, to clasp the belt. Another belt that I happen to love that's in my collection is this belt. The simplicity of it, the, the brightness of the gold, the chain, it's just a fabulous chain. It's not marked, um, so I don't know if it's made by any designer. But what I love is this disc. And this gold disc, I believe you can monogram it. And it's probably something I should look into because what's cooler than you wearing a belt that has your initials? I think that's totally cool. And so this is what it would look like. Vanessa has a, a much smaller waist than I do. But that's really chic. I'm always looking in the belt section at the thrift stores because I've encountered some amazing belts, some of which I've even sold. Um, here is another amazing belt. This one has two pearls in every station. And then each, in between each station is a circular station separating. What I love about this is that it fits me. <laughs> I don't, I'm not 
a size 24 anymore, I'm not a size two or four or six like I was back in 1988. Um, so um, it's really hard to find some of these glamorous belts in the size that fits me. So when I do see them and I encounter them at the thrift stores and other stores, um, I do tend to buy them. This here, what I love is that it doesn't matter what size you are. She's a skinny mini, but she can still wear this belt. And what I love is this dangling piece right here. It just gives it an extra little pizzazz. And her neck, probably several times. And look at this. So, you know, belts doesn't always have to be just around your waist. You can wear it around your neck and you can even wear belts in your hair. Another belt in my collection that I absolutely love is this one. This is a 1970s belt. And I remember wearing one exactly like this when I was in junior high school. In fact, I have a picture of myself wearing it and I hope to find it before this video goes up. Um, so this is a, a, a dragon skin belt or snake skin. I like the idea of a dragon skin. And it was very, very popular in the 70s. I wore mine in the 80s because I used to go thrift store shopping. And in the 80s, you can get a lot of 70s stuff. And so I remember purchasing mine and wearing it and thinking I was fabulous. This has a little bit of stretch to it. But look at this. Look how chic it made this outfit. And to me, this is a better belt than anything that something modern could uh, jazz up an outfit. Not the way that this belt does. I like that it's simple. I like that it has clean lines. And I like that she looks amazing. Now, this belt was a belt that I showed in one of my other videos. I was super excited to get this belt. This is a copper belt. And I showed it in my Benefits of Copper uh, Jewelry video, which I'll put the link um, in the description box. Um, this is a Renoir belt. So it's a designer belt from the 1970s. And it's even in his catalog. Um, I have a book on copper jewelry and this belt is in there. So this is a book belt. Vanessa is a size six and this belt is size small. And so this barely fits her. So this belt is really made for size four or under. If this belt was my size, I'd be rocking this belt. I'd be rocking it with probably some jeans, maybe even this black outfit. I would be rocking it with some of my um, copper jewelry to tie it all in. And the health benefits of copper are so numerous. You should check out my video if you wanna know more about the health benefits of copper. I think she looks great. And I think this belt is amazing. And I bought it at the thrift store for about $3. So look out for these at thrift stores. Here's another belt that I found at the thrift store. And again, I love things that are vintage, that are jewelry like, that fit me. So this was a good, good find. And the interesting part about this belt is that it has a tag that says made in Italy. This is actually the limited. So I just think the motifs on this belt is just fabulous. A punk rocker, a superstar, someone who's very confident in herself would be happy to wear this. The motifs on here are hearts and crosses. Probably the two collectible items that are most in my costume jewelry collection. That's heart motifs for love and crucifix for faith. And this belt to me is just stunning. I think you can wear this with just about any color dress that you have because it's just a plain gold belt. You can wear it with a pair of jeans, a pair of shorts. I think you can wear just about anything, really. It's really, really a fabulous find. And again, I bought this one at the thrift store for under $5. I'm gonna so. take the belt on, that I have on off so you can have a better look at it. Now check this belt out. 
tell me this is not just fabulous. When I found this belt, I just fell in love. It looked like the um, glass infused diachroma, diachromatic glass that you find in jewelry. This to me is, is just like, I mean, I'd wear this as a bracelet. I'd wear this as a necklace and I can wear it as a belt. This actually is a belt from Chico's. So this belt is from Chico's. Isn't this gorgeous? Look how it looks on her. It's pretty similar to what I'm wearing. Um, but each and every one of these um, plaques have a different glass design and there's some iridescence in it. There's some fairy dust in there. There's some gold foil in there. It's like glass and enamel. To me, it's one of my favorite belts in my collection. And I'm so happy to have it. And it's from Chico's. It's just stunning. Really, really stunning. Happy to have it in my collection. Here is another belt in my collection. And this is a designer belt. And it's from Ingrid Cussin. And I'm not familiar with this brand at all, but the slinkiness of this snake chain belt is just too much. It's like so beautiful. Sometimes the simplicity of the design is what elevates an outfit into the classy, classic, modernist hemisphere. And this would totally fit in that description. And again, it's hard to find belts that are this chic that fit me. So when I found this one, and this one runs a little bit even bigger for me, but you just drape it like that. I can't even put it on um, the mannequin because it'll just fall right off of her. But this one, I could totally wear. I don't know if you can see it, but isn't that gorgeous? Love it, I'm gonna keep it on. To continue on with this amazing belt, I'm gonna go into some of the, the glass beaded belts. And these are super, super cute. And I just love the way they're designed because this you can wear with a summer dress, a pair of jeans, a pair of shorts. And again, it fits me. You just drape it around and then you just let it drape like this. Again, a lot of these belts you can wear as jewelry around your neck. So this kind of has that flapper, beaded flapper look. One of my all time favorite belts in my collection is this glass green beaded belt. I guess this would be from the 1950s if I had to guess and it just barely fits me. In fact, I would be afraid to wear it because I might pop it. It fits me so snug. Um, but I just love it. Look at how gorgeous the green on that color. And what I love the most is this dangling, dangling fob. And again, I can't see myself give this belt up even though it doesn't fit me, but I could wear it as a necklace. What it would look like as a necklace. This lavalier dangling down between her cleavage. Um, it's just really, really a beautiful, beautiful piece. And we can put it around her waist and just imagine how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? The last belt in my collection is probably the most recent belt that I have and it's a belt that I did not get at the thrift store. I actually got this belt in H&M and so it's this rhinestone belt and look at that. Tell me that's not a fabulous rhinestone belt. It's Martin. It's brand spanking new. I think I only got it maybe two months ago and it's made with these beautiful, beautiful rhinestones. And I think that if I didn't buy this myself right from the H&M site, I would have thought this was vintage. I would never have thought it was modern. Take a look at that. That is just beautiful. 
Look at the way this belt piece just dangles from her waist. And with the light shining on this belt, I think it's just beautiful. I really wanted to accentuate how jewelry can inspire you. And in my case, my daughter recreating a picture based on a vintage belt that I kept. It's probably one of the only things that I kept back from my college days, except for a couple of letters that I might have. Um, it was really a pleasure to see her wear it and it just melted my heart to tears, literally. Um, it opened up a dialogue and a conversation between me and my daughter. We were able to talk about what happened 32 years before and what's happening now with her and how even though she sees me as her mother, I was once a young girl like her. And it gave me an opportunity to talk about her leaving her legacy. And um, it gave me an opportunity to share with her some of the dreams that I had and which ones were fulfilled and which ones were not. And some of the pitfalls that I fell into, some thinking that perhaps did not serve me well so it was just a really, really special moment. So this picture is just so important to me. So that's what vintage costumes and jewelry can do for you in your life. I'm just so happy that I was able to share with my daughter. I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. If you did, hit subscribe, hit like, leave a comment. Thank you so much for joining me in this journey that I'm taking. And it is a journey because doing these videos have opened up a whole new idea for me. It opened up me as a person. It allowed me to share with people my passions of collecting costume jewelry, things that I used to hide under the bed, literally. So this is a journey for me. I don't know where it's going to take me. Uh, but I'm so glad that you guys are on this ride with me and maybe you can see me evolve and so Let me know what you think and share with me some of your stories if you have any about how costume jewelry has been inspirational to you. So Thank you so much. I really enjoyed my time with you and Con mucho amor